God, as humble as we know how, and we thank you. We welcome you in this place. Move as only you can. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you are saturated with your power, your Lord, breaking the strain of you. Father, you know what the people stand in need of today. And Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, though they may hear the word throughout this broadcast, may hear a word of deliverance, a word of healing, a word of restoration. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that you will move by your power. Oh God, heal and deliver. Oh God, set free by your power. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh God, we thank the Lord and we bind every hindering spirit. Say the Lord rebuke you now. We bind the works, we bind everything that will come to him in the church. Oh God, move by your power. Touch your man's servant. God, I know the most fresh. Sing your word. Oh God, they will break and destroy your God. Sing your word, Lord. Oh God. In the name of Jesus, we praise you now. We thank you in advance, oh God. We thank you for being a good God. Hallelujah. My other works of your hands. Oh Jesus. My other works of your hands. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Forgive us all unrighteousness. Anything that's not pleasing. Oh, God, cleanse us even now. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we thank you in advance. We give you all the glory and the honor. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Recognizing the founding fathers, 
We want to remember Thurgood Marshall, the first black man to serve on the U.S. Supreme Court, while others marched and fought in the streets. He was fighting in the courtroom for equal rights. We also remember Ms. Shirley Chisholm. She was the first black woman elected to the United States Congress in 1968. And a name that many people may or may not be too familiar with is Lemuel Haynes. He was the first black man in the United States to be ordained as a minister. He was known for his writings, his quotes, poems, and sermons. It is imperative that we embrace our spiritual history. We want to remember how God used the late Apostle Johnny Washington to be a true trailblazer on this journey. He played a prominent role in the ministry of the Tabernacle of Prayer here in the United States and overseas, in Trinidad and Tobago, in the Caribbean islands. He worked closely in fellowship with Bishop R.B. Ramshide and Dr. C.R. Johnson, who was overseer of the Brooklyn Tabernacle Deliverance Center in Brooklyn, Brooklyn New York. In the mid-70s, these three great men of God held a service which was divinely orchestrated by the hand of God. It was an unforgettable moment in the history of Trinidad and Tobago when 5,000 people came together for a Lift Up Jesus open air crusade. And at this present day, in the Tabernacle of Prayer in Trinidad and Tobago is being carried on under the leadership of Apostle John Key Ramshaw, where God is still moving and souls are being saved. And we thank God for that moment in black history. If you will, join me in one chorus of our black national anthem. Praise God. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. We 
bring sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. Oh, we bring sacrifice of praise into the house. Bye. Uh -huh. 
going to bless your life. Amen. Amen. And we thank the Lord. Amen. For the word of God. Amen. Put your hands together and receive none of it. Amen. Our pastor, founder, the bishop, Dr. Melvin Jones Sr. Amen. As he come with a word from the Lord. As he come and give whatever God has given unto him, there is a word from the Lord. Come on and put your hands together and worship the Lord.
on one particular thing or one particular point. But, you know, and then you have to, then there's a thing about dealing with what's going on the inside of you. Yeah. Personal problems and uh, situations. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And, uh, you know, and then you have, especially for, especially for those that have made their mind up. Yeah. I'm going to serve God. And the song say anyhow mm -hmm. until I die. Amen. Other words, when you say anyhow, I'm, no matter what's going on yes. outside of my personal life, I got to keep my mind focused on the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Yes. And so uh, the, you you know when you have made your mind up to serve God, you can expect for the enemy to attack you. Uh, it, it's those that not doing anything. It's those that, uh, you know, they seem to be flowing through on flower beds of ease. Yes. But it's those that turning down their plate, fasting and praying, yes. and trying to live what they're preaching and what they're teaching, yes. what they have been taught. Yes. Glory to God. Who the enemy is attacking. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, not only your finances, but attacking uh, your body. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And there are attacks in the mind. Yes. Things that happen in life. Glory to God. And you've been praying and you know that you've been praying. Uh -huh. And you know and have experienced God have heard and answered your prayers before. Amen. Hallelujah. But it seemed like this one, this one particular situation seemed like it just won't move. Yes. Glory to God. And, and, and you know better than the question God because you know God is good. Yes. Amen. And you know that he is the creator. Yes. And that he uh, is in charge and in control of your life. Amen. He know exactly what's going on with you. Amen. He know exactly what you are. Yes. In every situation. Hallelujah. Yes. But it's up to us. Where we're going to put our trust. Yes. Are you going to continue to trust in the Lord? Are you going to throw your hand up and give up? I suggest to you, if you're going to throw your hands up, you ought to throw your hand up and praise. If you want to confound the enemy, give God praise through the situation that you're going through. Hallelujah. And this is how God gets the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Here we look at a young man called Paul. And he said he had earnestly sought the Lord about a situation in his life. Yes. Hallelujah. Eighth verse says, for this thing I sought the Lord thrice. Uh -huh. Other words, earnestly. I can just imagine earnestly praying unto the Lord. Yes. At least three times about it. That means when you turn your plate down for a significant number of days, when you uh, got away from the crowd, uh -huh. hallelujah, the activities of life, yeah. and you say, I'm going to pray about this thing, yeah. uh -huh. and I'm going to go in my closet, and I'm not coming out until I get an answer. Yeah. I don't know seek her. But yet, the Lord still didn't move for me. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. But by and by, he said, the Lord said something to me. He said to me, my grace is sufficient for thee. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I know this thing keep coming up. And I know it has not gone anywhere. I'm the one that's in control. I will allow it to happen to you. But I want you to stand fast. Don't question me. About my way. You would understand it anyhow. But just know. That I'm in control. Of your life. And those. Who have to do with you. And especially you Paul. This thing that's going on in your body. Hallelujah. It's been antagonizing. For a long time. Jesus. I know about it. Yes, but I'm not going to move it right now. 
I want you to stand on this word yes. and stand on this truth. Yes. My grace yes. is sufficient for thee. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For my strength yes. is made perfect yes. in weakness. Yes. When you get to the point, you say it's just enough. I can't help it. I can't do it. Hallelujah. It's no way. It's no way that I can do this thing. But somehow, brother, you listen. There's a still small voice speaking down on the inside. Say, you can do it. Go ahead. And you hear a word behind you saying, this is my way. This is the way. Walk that in. Hallelujah. And you feel a certain confidence coming up from the inside. I believe it's that well that's hidden from those that doesn't know the Lord. Hallelujah. A hidden well a secret well that springs up into eternal life. It's a bubbling brook. Hallelujah. And you decide to take a drink of that well. Hallelujah. And you find confidence. And you can confine in the Lord. You put your trust in the Lord. And that what you thought that you couldn't do. You find yourself standing up Allowing God to do what he wanted to do. Hallelujah. And when you do that, not only you are blessed, but others are blessed as well. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And not only that, hallelujah. I believe you allow yourself. You become, you can become dependent upon God. Hallelujah. I believe that's a good place to be. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. When you make your mind up yes. and you can tell God, Lord, yes. I'm depending on you. Yes. I seek you that can't tell you. I found out yes. I can't do it. But I heard the song saying just a few moments ago, I found out I can lean on Jesus. I found out I can lean Oh the Lord. Hallelujah. But you have to make your mind up to accept God's strength. You will know from life experience it's not your strength. It's got to be. And it must be the strength of the Lord that's taking you through from day to day. Life oppositions. High all seek doors being closed in your faith. Uh, seem like things uh, not working out for you. But it's God. Hallelujah. That bring you through. Uh, can you say amen? Thank you Jesus. Uh, I heard Paul say. Uh, the Lord told him. Uh, My grace. Is sufficient. For thee. For my strength. Is made perfect. In weakness. Hallelujah. At the very time that you're weak, if you depend on God, you'll find out God will call you to become strong during those times. And then sometimes you look back like the songwriter said, how I made it over. I look back. I look back. And I wonder how I made it over. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But let me suggest to you uh, that you made it over by the grace of God. Yes. You made it over yes. by the strength of God. Yes. God uh, empowered you. Uh, hallelujah. To take another step. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I believe you. Uh, my God Almighty. Within a place where you're standing still. Hallelujah. And 
and the old folks say, marking time. Glory be to God. But you found enough strength in the Lord to take another step. Come on with me. Let's take another step. Come on. Let's go higher in the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. And I was looking now at the scriptures. I found myself moving through the word of God. The Bible says, line upon line, precept upon precept. Hallelujah. I come across a scripture that says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Hallelujah. It's time now. It's time now to seek the Lord. Search for him. That's never before. Forget about the regular church service. Hallelujah. Couple of songs here. A testimony there. A word there. And you go home and live like the devil the rest of the week. It's time to put off the old man and put on Jesus. Hallelujah. Isaiah said during his time, uh, hallelujah, call ye upon him while he's near. Hallelujah. You uh, and you and you that know the Lord, you've been redeemed. You have been redeemed of your sins. You have been redeemed from your sins. God has brought you out uh, of darkness and into the marvelous light. You have an experience with God. Hallelujah. You know how to touch him. You know how to reach him. Open your mouth and say something. He coming out of Unto the Lord. Seek him. Seek him. While he may be found. For I'm convinced But you walked away 
My God, you impress them by the world and the world of things that's going on that captured them. Your attention, and you turn your back on God. It's time to turn back, turn back, return. I want to say, return unto the Lord. He will have mercy upon you. Hallelujah. Return to our God, and He will abundantly pardon you. Glory to God. Sometimes, because of the wisdom and the knowledge we had of pain, we feel like we've gone too far. But not so. The word of God declares God is married to the backslider. Hallelujah. Want to come on back? Come on back home. Hallelujah. Take the attitude of of the prodigal son. He said I, he found himself in a mess. But he made his mind up. I believe I rise and go back home to my father's house. Come on back home. Hallelujah. The word of God says for my thoughts God speaking now. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are my ways your ways, said the Lord. Listen, for as heaven is higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. Even Hallelujah. And my thoughts higher than your thoughts. Glory to God. I kind of like this word that says, for as the rain coming down from heaven. Hallelujah. And make it to bring forth and bud that it may give seed to the soul and bread to the eater. Jesus. Hallelujah. The Father said, so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not Return to me, boy. Hallelujah. Other words, the promises of God unto you that you find in his word. You can, you, can, you can stand on it. You can rely upon it. You can put your trust in it. And you can find it. Hallelujah. It will not fail. Glory to God. Glory to God. But don't be like the man that went to Elijah for deliverance from leprosy. He made his mind up just how things was going to go and how God would move. Glory to God. When he got there, Elijah wouldn't even come to the door. But he sent his servant tell him to go down the to the river Jordan uh -huh. and just dip seven times. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And the Bible says he went away upset and murmuring. Hallelujah. But it took someone of a low stature to say, my Lord, if he had asked you to do something, some great thing, if he had bid you, if he bid you to do something great, wouldn't you not have done it? What about this? Disobey what the men of God said. Hallelujah. They print out them. We can go back home. We have river there. Much cleaner water. Hallelujah. But that wasn't a request. Go down the mother Jordan. Hallelujah. And dip seven times. I can imagine on the sixth time that he dipped with a cup up. There was no chain. Glory to God. Examine himself. Hallelujah. But on the seventh time, when he went down, down in the water, when he come up, he was clean. Hallelujah. God had given him a miracle. Can you say amen? So, if you can do away with your ideas, 
how things are going to work. Give God a chance to be who he is. Hallelujah. You'll find out his word will not come back void. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says, but it shall accomplish that which I please. Hallelujah. It shall prosper in the things threatened to ascend. Wherever God said his word, I dare you lift your hands and say, Lord, send your word. My way, I receive it now. Oh, God, send your word. Send your word. My way, I receive it now. Hallelujah. Would you accept the strength of God? Would you accept God's strength? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I read a little father in the scripture, and I see what the servant of the Lord said. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Hallelujah. It sounds like to me, somebody of experience, somebody found out, found out they can lean on Jesus. Somebody found out if you trust him, if you just try him and see that the Lord is good. If you said, oh, taste and see what he's saying. He said, give it a try. Just test it out. How you want to seek? Examine it for yourself. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When you taste it, glory to God. You know for yourself. How it taste. You experience it for yourself. Get in the word. Hallelujah. Get in his presence. Hallelujah. Taste and see. Try it out. Glory to God. Like the songwriter said, he found out he could lean on Jesus. Hallelujah. Not only that, he said, oh, fear the Lord. Glory to God. For those don't understand the expression, what he's saying is have a reverential fear for the Lord. If you have a reverence for God and you recognize his presence wherever you are, even though the benediction have been spoken over you and you depart in various places uh, to your separate homes. God's uh, presence is still there. Hallelujah. And temporarily because the saints are not around you begin to say you begin to do whatever comes to your mind and you allow the devil to have a few days with your mind. Hallelujah. The hell reverential fear of the Lord. Honor him. Where you go, where you be. Hallelujah. Confine in him. Trust in him. Hallelujah. He's speaking especially to the saints of God. Hallelujah. Those in the Lord call holy. Hallelujah. God is holy. So be ye holy. For it is written, I am holy. Hallelujah. This is to those who confess to be a friend of God. Are you a friend of the Lord? Then this word is to you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Reverence him in all you say, in all you do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You be careful what you say. You be careful the company you keep. Hallelujah. You be careful the what you put in this old body. For you recognize your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And if you defile this temple, then you shall be defiled. You'll be destroyed. Can you say amen? 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to encourage you to keep seeking the Lord. Hallelujah. For the Bible says, glory to God, the young lions do lack and suffer hunger. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But those that seek the Lord shall never want any good thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even during the pandemic, you never want any good thing. Glory to God. If your heart earnestly desire to have a thing and God see a need for you, God will open the door for you that you can walk right in. Hallelujah. That you'll be amazed. Hallelujah. And your lips shall say, God is an awesome God. Hallelujah. God reign. Yes, he does. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God is real. God is real. He's genuine. Can you say amen? Now I encourage you to accept God's strength. God is strong. For you're weak, he's mighty. Hallelujah. When you're torn down, God is built up there. Rely on his strength. Whatever you need. Hallelujah. If it's someone that the Holy Ghost has given you a longing to see them saved and sanctified, depend on God's strength. Depend on God's strength. You can't do it. Let God do it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I continue to say, pray to God. But let somebody come across their prayer that they shall receive that's mighty in word and in deed. But they won't receive you. We pray God they receive them. Can you say amen? Realize you're not the only way. You're not the only one that God is using. God is using others. Can you say amen? Accept God's strength. Amen. Glory to God. Let me reach out to those right now that have not accepted God's strength. Hallelujah. You know you need strength to make it. I mean spiritually and physically, financially, mentally, in every way. Hallelujah. You need the strength of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord said to those that want to follow him, count the cost. This is not a weak gospel. You're not on flowery beds of ease, but you're on the road to glory. Amen. And the devil trying to take you out. I you will seek her. So when you come on my kataya, surrender to him. You have entered into God's army. Songwriters say, God don't need a coward soldier. You got to be prepared to fight. Amen. Amen. But know you're not alone. Know that you're not alone. God is with you. Thank you. Hallelujah. If you're not delivered from your sins, I want to pray for you. If you pray this prayer and pray from your heart, I believe that God will deliver you Amen. from whatever you're going through, whatever your trials, whatever your tests, whatever your habits. I learned a long time ago that Jesus is a habit breaker. He'll do it for you. Won't you let him do it for you now? Would you bow your heads? Then it's between you and the Lord. And just bow your head and say, Lord Jesus, I believe you died on the cross for my sins and rose again from the dead. You redeemed me by your blood. And I belong to you. And I want to live for you. I confess all my sins, known and unknown. 
I'm sorry for them all. I renounce them all. I forgive all others as I want you to forgive me. Forgive me now and cleanse me with your blood. I thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ which cleanses me now from all sin. God, I thank you for saving me. I thank you for delivering me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just go ahead and praise him for the liberty wherewith he made you free. Come to Lord Court time. Open your mouth and praise God. Hallelujah. Give him praise. Hallelujah. If you bid him to come, he has come. Just receive it by faith. Hallelujah. Right now, before we close, I want to pray for those that love the Lord. You're a child of the king and you know that you've been born again. But yet you're under attack. Whether it be physically, mentally, financially, in your body. I am a little seeker. I ask you to join with me in prayer. Standing on the promise of the Lord Jesus Christ. He said if two or three come together. Touching and agreeing on any one thing. I'll be in the midst. You know what you want God to do. Just focus upon that. And since we know that God is omnipotent, He's on that present, we say, Father, it come on our Kataisia. In the name of Jesus, those that are in agreement with me now, say,